Are you are you gonna compete again or you retire or not? Not on the Olympia stage. Jay, I'd like to say I really like the facial hair. It's a new look for you. Get a little gray in it now, though. <laughs> anyway, you look great. I still can't decide whether you're a great bodybuilder or the greatest bodybuilder, Jay. I'm the greatest. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I decided. Hey, um, I'm 48 years old, and I've been bodybuilding for a long time. And um, I'm just wondering, you know, when I, I, I'm trying to put on size, but I, when, when do you kind of give up on the dream of putting extra muscle on. I, I know you used to, when you were a young buck, you used to talk about how Ronnie Coleman was a little bit older in his 40s, maybe, you know. Not, I was just talking shit. I know, we, we know. And it makes the sport fun. We love it, we love it. But uh, realistically, in your opinion, based on what you've seen in your years of training, like when when is there not enough testosterone and growth hormone in a guy's system that, for men? You know, you know what's crazy is being up as much places as I travel to I used to think like as you get older you can't even at my level I was like oh you know you get too old you can't make progress and but I see some of these guys I mean they're like 60 years old and they're jacked so I really think there is no really set limit I really think there's a lot of factors that come into it you mentioned you know, your testosterone obviously decreases as you get older but a lot of guys, I mean, that's not really the case. I mean, a lot of people, they keep their testosterone levels off or, you know, they get the, they don't start training until they're like 45 or 48 years old. But it really doesn't have a, an age limit. I think the later you start, I think your peak is later than what it normally is. I started at 18, and I feel my bodybuilding peak was at 35. I'm 41 now, and I go in the gym, and I, of course, I still look in the mirror and want to look better. There's no question, but I realize that the diet's so important and obviously the training routines and sleeping. I don't sleep as much as I used to because I'm so busy all the time. I know when I was a bodybuilder, it was like, I lived like a baby. I ate, slept, and trained. That's all I did, you know? It was great. So all I had to do was work out. As I've gotten bit busier now and, and obviously moved into other directions, it's not as easy to hold on to that muscle, stay as lean. I think the ideal physique, I mean, People ask me, Jay, what would you like to look like right now? I want to look as lean as possible, but maintain some size. My goal when I said I retired, I wanted to fit back into extra large shirts, because I was wearing like 4X when I was at my biggest. It was like tense, you know, it was huge. Stuff would hang down to here, you know, I'm not that tall, so. Uh, but I really don't think there's a limit, to be honest. I mean, you, you can progress if you put in the diet, the training, I mean, just follow the regimen day in, day out. I'm, you can still improve. Don't let the age fool you. I always start around 41, but I act like I'm 21. I'll never grow up, so. Just act younger, that's all. Thanks for the beer, dog. Just trying to keep up with this guy. You haven't got any gray yet, have you? You will. I didn't get mine until I was 40, so. 